Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this video tutorial, I will explain how we can use OpenSSL command line tool to generate self signed certificate. I will explain how we can create CSRs and how we can generate key pairs. Before I proceed with this tutorial, I will request you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed before. So, here is the agenda. Of the topics that we are going to cover in this video tutorial, I will explain how we can generate key pair containing a public and private key using OpenSSL. I will explain how we can extract a public key from the key pair using OpenSSL. And then I will explain how we can generate a certificate signing request from the key pair that we generated. And last but not least, I will explain that. How we can generate self signed certificates based on all the steps that are performed here. So, without further ado, let's directly uh, move towards the command line tool and see how we can achieve all this using OpenSSL. So, OpenSSL is basically a command line tool and it's open source and it, it's available for both Windows and Linux. Right now, I'm on my Windows machine. So if you don't have OpenSSL available on your machine, make sure that you first download and configure it. You can download it from official site of, site of OpenSSL. I will put the link in the description box. And once you have OpenSSL in your machine, you can verify by running this command OpenSSL version A-A. -A. So this gives you the details of the version of OpenSSL that you have and uh, some other details. So with this command, you, you get confirmation that OpenSSL is correctly configured and available on your machine. So once we have this OpenSSL available in our machine, now we can proceed with the steps that we need to perform. The first important thing uh, that's in our agenda is to generate a key pair. And in order to generate the key pair, we will use this command OpenSSL Gen RSA. Then we will have to specify the uh, output file with the dash out option and let's name it as tutorialspedia.key and then we have to specify the uh, size key size. So I'm specifying 2048. So uh, there are certain uh, preconditions for some applications to have it uh, at minimum it should be 1024. Previously there were some certificates being generated with 512 as well. But make sure that uh, you are uh, specifying the key size as per your requirements. So with this command, I am generating a key pair uh, with RSA algorithm and key length 2048. And it will be generated in the file with the name tutorialspedia.key. So if I press enter, it says generating RSA private key 2048 bit long mod modulus. And it has created. So if I just there you can see that we have a file with the name tutorialspedia.key in the same folder. So let me clear it. Now once we have created the key pair, I will show you how we can extract a public key from the key pair because key pair contains private as well as public keys. So if you have to extract a public key, this is the command that we have to use. Open SSL and then you will use RSA because we created this uh, with RSA algorithm dash in and in the dash in you will specify the input key file. Our file name is tutorialspedia.key and then we will specify dash pub out because we want to output the public certificate from this and then we will have to specify with dash out the name of the file where we want to store this public certificate and let's name it as tutorialspedia underscore public dot key. So if I click enter, it has created a new file. Let me show you with the dir command tutorialspedia underscore public dot key. So we have extracted public key from the key pair. Let me now proceed with the next step where we will have to uh, create certificate signing request. Because normally the procedure is that first you uh, create a key pair and after creating a key pair you create a certificate signing request and if it's in a real scenario in the real production scenarios after creating the certificate signing request this CSR is handed over to some CA certification authority 
for example, DG cert or very sign, and they sign it on your behalf, and then you get the certificate which is CA signed. But in this case, for the sake of in this tutorial, what we will do, we will create a CSR and then we will do it self signed. So let's create uh, our CSR. So the command that we use to create a CSR is open SSL rec. Then we specify dash new because we want to create new. And then we will specify dash with, uh, with the command dash key. We will specify the key that we want to use for the CSR. We have tutorialspedia.key which we will use for this. And then dash out where we will specify the file where, we, where our CSR will be saved. Let's name it as tutorialspedia.csr. So if I click enter. So now because we are generating the CSR, so there will be a series of certain questions that will be asked from us that are very important if you are creating a CSR for some actual scenario. But since in this case we are doing it for the test purpose, so it doesn't matter what information we provide. So country name, let me specify PK, state or province, let me specify ISB, locality name, for example, city, I will specify same ISB, organization name, let's write tutorialspedia. Organization unit, let's write same tutorialspedia. Common name, this common name is very important because uh, in real scenarios where you will have uh, your certificate to be used for ser certain server or some website, then it should match with the uh, server name or FQD and uh, whatever you have. For example, in this case, I will write steric.tutorialspedia.com and email address, I will just uh, write a dummy email abc at test.com. And here it's asking for the password. I will not enter any password and click enter. And now we have a CSR generated. Here you can see that we have a CSR with the name tutorialspedia.csr, which has been generated. So once you create a CSR, it's very important, as I mentioned before, that CSR contains the information about your CN and certain other information. And if in real scenarios you are going to get it signed by the certification authority, then you should first verify and make sure that whatever information you wanted for your CSR is correctly entered so that uh, you don't get a panic later uh, once you have got it uh, signed by a CA. So in order to do that, you can do the verification. So, so the command to verify is open SSL. And then you will write rec, you will write dash text dash in and here you will specify the uh, name of your CSR tutorialspedia.csr and then you will specify dash no out because you don't want the private to be shown and then you want dash verify so here now it gives you all the information some of the information might not be of your concern but Still, it does provide you all the information for your uh, uh, CSR. As you can see, subject, com common name, state, country, and everything that you provided as answer to the previous question is showing here. If you find that anything is wrong, you can still regenerate your CSR before you pass it to CA for the signing. Okay, so in our case, we are not going to get it signed by a CA, rather we are going to make self-signed certificate. So for self-signing, we will have to use the command open SSL X509. Then we will have to specify the input, it dash in uh, the CSR name, tutorialspedia.csr. Then we will have to specify the output with dash out and what, uh, what, what file name we want for our output uh, sign certificate let's name it as tutorialpedia.crt and then we will have to write dash rec dash sign key and here we will have to specify the key name so our key is tutorialspedia.key and then last we will have to specify the validity how long we want this certificate to be valid so if you want it for one year you will specify 365 if I click enter, you see that signature OK. And based on this, we got our self signed certificate created. Now, if I click on their command, you can see that we have in our folder one public key which we extracted. We have one CRT file which we have self signed. 
before also we have .csr file which is our certificate signing request and we have .key which is our private key actually that is our private and public key pair so that's it from this video and i hope that the information that i communicated to you will be helpful for you and uh, feel free to put any question if you have in the comment section i will try to respond to your questions and if you want to know how you can use uh, java key tool to do the similar thing to generate self signed certificate you can uh, go through the other video on the same channel where i have explained how we can use java key tool to generate self signed certificate also there is another uh, graphical tool known as portical and you can use that tool as well to uh, do the similar things for generation of self signed certificates keys for changing the formats from one format to another even in open ssl also you can convert from one format uh, to another format for the certificates and key files so don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you very much